Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're just going to pick up a blazer we bought at the auction. So, we're pretty close here. Uh, the roads have been super terrible this morning. Pretty icy, but just a couple K away. So I've actually never bought anything from here before, but uh, let's see how it goes. So let's roll up and I think we just gotta check in. It's already paid for, so uh, just check in and then hopefully they just blow it on with the forklift, I guess, I don't know. Oh, there's a ton of smashed cars, so we're probably in the right place, I'm thinking. We can probably go to the front desk here, I think. Uh, so, we'll just go in here and see what's up anyways, and then, uh, I'm not sure what we need to do. Okay, so they just gave me this piece of paper, and apparently they're just going to bring it out here, so... I'll just uh, wait in the nice warm truck until I've seen the forklift go out there. So I think they're going to grab it. This guy's loading up his Rex. Box I delete on that one. <laughs> they do have a nice big loading yard on like Copart. So that's nice. nice. These guys are just hauling ass with the loaders throw on the lid or drop the cars on the lids all right I think he's got it there that looks right so we'll see if it is as good as it looks in the pictures hopefully oh don't drop it So we got it loaded up. It actually looks pretty good. Looks like the, the front, uh, I don't know, the part of the unibody's a little bent up here, but uh, not too bad. Should be pretty fixable anyways. I think this one headlight's actually good. What is this? Is that the headlight or is that just a signal light? Huh. It looks, no, looks not too bad. It's just a little pushed over. I need to change a little bit of this structure. I bet you can get all this shit pretty easy. So somehow twisted this fender just from pushing it over. But looks not too bad. It popped like so many airbags. <laughs> so I've never seen the knee one or the floor airbag one, but steering wheel airbag, the roof airbag, and the dash. But this interior is sweet moonroof all this stuff nice the sweet color too besides that no damage anywhere else so and it's got uh i think it's got 11 or 12 thousand feet on it i think it says right here what is it yeah eleven thousand six thirty one. pretty sure that's right anyways we'll get her strapped down and Get this thing home. That's what's actually got 12,186k on it. But it turns on and everything. It just the uh, it kind of has the belt popped off on that. So I seen to roll it back a little bit in the trailer. Got her all strapped down, ready to head her home. Get it washed up in the shop anyways, but it's gonna be a long drive home because it's so freaking icy and shitty out today, but
just gonna pull her and pull it inside here, let it thaw out, and uh, hopefully pull it apart a little bit and kind of see what we need. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into some parts for this thing. Hopefully, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this alternator bracket here, but uh, besides that, the inside pretty much just needs the seat belts and uh, change the dash out. Like you just need to change the panel out with this airbag and then I see the foot airbag down there and the headliner needs to come out, but that's all pretty minor. So. So thanks for watching and tune in on the next video. I'm gonna pull it all apart here and uh, see what all we need. Peace.